Hello everyone, welcome to part 107 of Laravel 10 series in which we are getting the e-commerce website. So we will continue working on the product detail page and in this video we will start working on the add to cart functionality via Ajax. Okay, so uh, so here you can see the sizes. So we want to select the size and want to add that size to the cart. Okay, uh, so that thing we are going to do via Ajax. So there is no refresh of the page at all. In the earlier series, we are just adding it uh, via PHP, normal PHP in which the page will refresh. But now we are going to do via Ajax so that only, uh, see we are going to edit card uh, and no refresh and just uh, it will update here, uh, like it will come to the four or whatever. Okay, uh, so let's start working on this thing. Uh, so in this video we are going to create the table we are going to create the card table okay in which we are going to store these products for the user okay and uh, and we are going to create the model as well and then we are going to build that add to card form here okay so this part we are going to uh, create the add to card form in which this size will come this quantity will come and also we are going to pass this product id as a hidden variable okay hidden input type okay so let's start working on this thing. Uh, so uh, first we are going to create the uh, cars table and in the cars table we are going to add the values uh, like uh, we are going to add the fields columns. We are going to add uh, see ID, ID is the column that we are going to add after ID. See I'm going to do it like this ID and then after that session ID. Okay, uh, session ID in which we are going to store the user session ID. Okay. So the user ID after login, we are going to add the user ID. Okay. And the product ID. Okay. See the product that the user going to add product ID as well as the product size as well. The size that the user select for, for the particular product and the product quantity that how much quantity the user is going to add. And after that, the creator add and every add that, uh, that every Laravel uh, table is required. Okay. So these columns, we are going to add these columns. Okay, so uh, see here. Okay, so with these columns we are going to add. I'm just going to ignore this. See, first one is the ID. See, it will come like ID. Okay, then the session ID and then the user ID. After that, the product ID. After product ID, product size. And after product size, product quantity, product underscore quantity. Okay, so uh, after this one, creator add, creator underscore add and updated underscore add okay so i'm going to add this column with the help of migration okay so i'm going to create this table uh, with the help uh, help of migration command uh, so i'm going to run here uh, run command here uh, artisan command i'm going to run if you are in window you know that you are required to go inside the folder and run your php artisan command okay so here i'm going to uh, create the new migration file php artisan make migration and uh, uh, i'm going to uh, make here the file name like create table uh, sorry create cards table okay i want to create create the cards uh, uh, cards table so i will uh, make the migration file like create underscore cards underscore table okay so i'm going to open this file here create underscore cards underscore table okay i will create i will just open this file here here we are going to add the, the columns okay uh, so here i'm going to add the column like first one is the string uh, string we are going to take for the session id because session id can be alphanumeric okay so after that we are going to take the integer integer is for the user id user id is always in the integer okay so after login we require the user id for the user okay and uh, after that we are going to take the product id product id is also in here so we are going to take the product id here as in here as well product id so after that we are going to take the string for the product size okay for the product size we are going to take the string product size and product quantity for product quantity we are going to take the integer as well because the product quantity quantity is always uh, in integer okay so we are going to take the integer for the product quantity so it's done okay so now 
uh, we are going to run the php artisan migrate command php artisan migrate to create this cards table yes it has been done and now i am going to check here that the whether the table has been created or not i will go to my uh, php my admin then uh, to my project uh, that is the project 10 database okay so this is my database project 10 and i'm going to check here the cars table that the cars table yes the cars table has been created and you can see the car table has been created uh, created with the required columns okay id session id user id product id product size product quantity credit and appropriate okay all the columns are there uh, that needs to be there for the cars table okay so now i'm going to create the model file as well uh, so php artisan make model i'm going to create the card model that is connected with the card table okay so after this uh, we are going to update the detail blade file we are going to add the add to card form though it is already added but we need to modify it okay we need to add uh, its id we need to uh, add the product id as the input type field as well okay so i will first check that where is the form exactly i'm going to search for the form here it is okay so this form starts here and ends here okay so here you can see uh, okay so it ends here add to card button is here so i'm going to uh, update this form with the name id okay uh, okay so let's uh, do it name i am going to make it like add to cart as the name and id as well same id add to cart uh, add to cart i am going to add the same id as well name as well as the id okay so after this i am going to add here uh, product id as the input field hidden input type hidden name is the product id product underscore id and its value its value uh, we are having the product id value here somewhere we are having the value of the product id i am going to check uh, okay so see i am going to pick it from here i am just going to copy this one and simply going to add here and will replace here this product name with the id okay product details id so this is the product id okay so after this uh, i will make sure the uh, size here name must be size yes it's fine okay uh, so uh, after this i need to add for the quantity as well where is the quantity here is the quantity this is the quantity field uh, okay so uh, see the field here uh, this one is the quantity field so we need to uh, name it like the quantity qty name equal to quantity okay so i'm going to add here name equal to qty quantity okay also one more thing we need to see here like uh, uh, okay so there is some issue we need to see okay uh, so we have added uh, size so we need to remove one so that's why okay so now see there is automatically selected large uh, but we don't want this we we want the user must select so uh, we are going to remove this from this size and here you can see the checked in instead of this we are going to add here the required because we want the user to select this column okay so we can just give the required here and here refresh and now see if you will click if the user will click on add to card without selecting any side then the it will ask please select one of these options okay so the user is required to select one of these sides okay uh, so after this uh, uh, now we are ready see our form is ready now we are going to create its route uh, so we will go to the web.php file and here we are going to add the add to car route okay so add to card we are going to add inside uh, uh, see inside the front group uh, not in admin group but we are going to create inside the front group here because it's the part of the front so here we are going to add add to card add to card okay so here post route we are going to add add to card like this okay so here product controller 
in which we are going to create the function add to cart function like this so now we are going to create this function add to cart function in the product controller here we are going to create this add to cart function after detail function after get attribute price function we are going to create this another function public function add to cart and here uh, we are going to add uh, first thing is uh, here request dollar request the uh, the information that we are going to get from the uh, product detail add to cart form okay that is the product id size quantity all these things we will uh, get uh, from there as the post method is method post we are going to check what is what is returning via post method and that we are going to get here and going to print here first of all we are going to debug this one okay request all and here we are going to print this that this is actually coming or not all the data is valid or not okay so that we can move further so here we are going to check this one so here we require to pause the data see uh, earlier on we used to pause the data with action but there is no action at all so we want to pause the data via ajax so this is the id and from this id uh, we are required to submit the form via ajax okay so i'm going to open the custom.js file okay and here i'm going to add the jquery function after this function i'm going to add here the another function and i will add some comment like the add to card jquery function okay so uh, so add to card just we are going to add the here add to card here so here the id will come add to card id add to card and add to card and here submit submit function we are going to add submit function and here we're going to add here the submit function like this and here first of all we are going to see whether uh, this function will is will work or not okay i just i'm going to uh, alert test okay just to uh, test this function that it is working fine or not i'm just going to click on add to card here okay uh, see i'm going to select and then click on yes it's working fine okay uh, so it's fine uh, so here also I'm going to add like uh, action as the JavaScript uh, uh, just to stop it okay stop it uh, from submitting okay I just do it like this uh, let's uh, see now uh, see in the yes now it is not refreshing at all okay so now I'm going to uh, see this one is working fine now I'm going to move further and here uh, the values we are going to get uh, from the form and there is the way to get the uh, values okay so that is the like uh, uh, form data we are going to get the form data i'm going to make it like the form data here form data that the data is for, uh, is that data is coming from the form okay so after this i am going to use once again i'm going to use the id here but first i'm going to take it like this, this dot serialize okay serialize okay uh, first i'm going to test that whether this one will work or not and if this one will work then we are going to use this one okay for getting the complete form data okay let's see let's see the output here like uh, here we are having the site product id has the hidden input type and the quantity i am going to click on add to car yes the data is coming product id size as well as the quantity so it's fine okay we are getting the data uh, okay uh, so after getting this data uh, this we are going to send uh, via ajax to the function uh, so here straight away i'm going to use the ajax here So inside Ajax, uh, we will use the URL that we have earlier created, add to card URL, add to card. After the URL, see type, we are going to use the type as post. 
and then the data in data we are going to use the form data uh, and after that the success success in success function here we are going to get the response and here uh, we can print this response dot response and then the for error message error function for alerting the error if there is any error okay so let's see uh, I'm going to refresh now and we'll also open the inspect console here okay so now I'm going to try uh, yeah I'm going to open the console here okay let's see so I'm going to click on add to car here and I'm going to select this site first and click on add to car and here some error has come let's see okay uh, that 419 uh, error CSRF token error has come so we need to add uh, uh, that header header we are required to add to prevent the CSRF token uh, that error mismatch okay uh, so for this one we are going to add this one in ajax like this now we are going to refresh it once again and now we are going to try it let's try it once again okay i'm going to click on select going to select this site okay after selecting this site i'm going to uh, clean it okay after selecting this site i'm going to click on add to cart and here the empty array is coming no data is coming here so the data is not coming see there we are actually uh here uh we are uh, just uh, printing all the data but why the data is not coming the data must come here so we need to debug our code okay so we can see the issue here here i have incorrectly added the date no date will not come here the data will come okay so that's why the issue is here so i'm going to refresh it once again and we'll see it now okay don't make this silly mistake at your end okay it will just uh, make your task more okay so now uh, i'm going to select small and now i'm going to close this one and we'll click on add to card once again and let's see the data is coming now product id 17 site small and product and the quantity is one so it's fine okay we are getting the correct data the product id is 17 you can see at the address bar here url here the 17 and the site that we have selected is small and the quantity is one so i'm going to select here the now the medium and the quantity is two i'm going to click on add to card and now you can see product id is 17 this time and site is medium as the and as the uh, c quantity is two so it's fine the data is coming fine to our function now we can further uh, we'll save the data in the cards uh, cards table that we have created earlier but before that we are going to do some checks some main checks some conditions we are going to add uh, okay so uh, we will do those conditions and we'll also add uh, the data to the cards table in the next video so please stay tuned for the next video in which we are going to uh, going to insert the data in the cards table after checking a uh, few of the things okay uh, so uh, so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye